Hey, it's Adam here with another edition of End to Asks. Today is a very exciting episode as I wonder about 10 discussions for effective leadership. And the reason it is exciting is it is by Raymond Perez, Marcel Bellafui, and Bruno Lindia, who's a good friend of mine. So he actually gave me this book and the three of them did actually something really cool. So Raymond writes kind of the overview and is kind of the, the main writer. And then Marcel, for every chapter, writes a piece from a sports point of view, which is super cool. And then Bruno writes from a business perspective. So you get kind of the overview and then a sports and then a business perspective for every single chapter. So 10 discussions. So um, discussion number one, the right stuff. And um, it's basically the right stuff in the right amount at the right time, basically getting it done well. And I think this equation here that Bruno added, I just love it because it, it basically sums up my business and my philosophy and it says hard task plus process equals simpler. Hallelujah. Uh, number two, the myth of empowerment. Basically, what steps have you taken to ensure that realistic work expectations have been met? Not much more to say about that one. Three, trust and the boomerang theory. The boomerang theory is basically if you give trust out in the world, it will come back to you. And that is a little bit in contrast with this idea of, you know, trust has to be earned. But I feel like that is a whole philosophical conversation for another day. Maybe I'll do a video on it another time. Um, four, telling the truth. And my favorite part about all this is there's this concept of the street, the bench, and the field, and kind of how you give feedback and how you interact with people. The street, this is your kind of idle chit chat, interacting with the people you work with. Uh, the bench, this is practice time, right? Where we're training, it's, pretty, it's, it's more serious. And then the field, this is in front of the client, this is where you cannot mess up, and if you do, it's big problems, you're gonna hear about it. So, it's kind of important to acknowledge with each other, are you on the street, are you on the bench, or are you on the field? I thought that was super cool, I like that one. Uh, number five, uh, optimize results with joint planning. And there's a cool quote here, it says, a dream without action is a nightmare. <laughs> I like that. Uh, number six, clarity of vision leads to success. And uh, summarized by, success is the progressive realization of a worthy goal. So, you need the goal. Seven, leading by example. And example is not the main thing in influencing others. It is the only thing. That's a quote by Albert Schweitzer. So if you want to influence somebody, show that you walk the walk, not just talk the talk. Uh, number eight, ask constructive questions. Um, and this is basically creative problem solving versus hunting a culprit, right? Doesn't matter whose fault, let's figure it out. And number nine, think like a champion. And there's a super awesome quote here. I'm gonna read the whole thing, I just love it. Um, I have been wounded, but not slain. I shall lie here and bleed a while. Then I shall rise and fight again. The title of champion may from time to time fall to others more than ourselves. But the heart, the spirit, and the soul of champions remains in us. That's from Vince Lombardi. I found that to be super powerful. I like that. And then finally, number 10, alone at the top. There is a price to success and the burden of leadership. And I'll finish with this quote that I liked. Um, Unless you want to do this more than anything else in the world, Someone else is willing to and will do it better. So, something to think about. How bad do you want it? So there you have it. I'm gonna thank Bruno for that book. I really enjoyed it and uh, hope you did too. Take care.